All right, so if you don't already know, they actually went and announced some more celebration stuff that they planned for White Day. I don't know what they're doing here because I think that that day has already come and gone. I think that that's was yesterday. But um, yeah, they're starting the events. It looks like on 318, and that's when everything starts. So that's there. Uh, they're also giving us like stuff in the mail. So just make sure to check the mail constantly because you'll get gifts every single day now throughout the mail, apparently. Uh, it's, it's a very weird thing. I don't get what they're doing with it, but... I'll explain it, and maybe I read this notice, and it makes me understand more. Get to the top into it. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. Helps out a ton. There's gifts planned, but yeah, let's just let's just hop into it. Let me just read it there. Okay, so we have two things here. This was the 313 thing I already covered. In this thing, 314 was a celebrate. I don't know what this was. Upon logging in, you get so you just got matchers this day, and you save those matchers for this day, which is now 318. So this is the one they just published, right? Literally today. Um, what they say is this. Did you give sweet candies uh, to your lover on family uh, or family on uh, white day? That's again there. I wanted to get your hands on lollipop straw breakers that appear only during the event and exchange them for rewards that you desire. So the two currencies we're going to need are called lollipops and job breakers. Also, it's been said that the arcade will be opening soon. That same event we had. Um, the arcade, uh, climb the tower and see how high you can climb the tower. For additional information, please check below. White day festival, uh, daily festival. So it starts on 318 and ends on 328. Uh, you have to check the mission in Event um, Daily Festival, located on the left side of the main lobby. During the event period, a new mission will unlock each day. Completing the unlocked missions will count towards your mission progression. However, if you attempt to complete the missions that have not been unlocked yet, it will count. Um, it will not count basically until the mission is opened up. Upon clearing a mission, you can obtain Jawbreakers, so we have a currency that we need as a reward. If you clear all the missions, you can obtain a reward selection chest A. So. Here we go. Final reward for clearing all missions. Reward selection chest eight times two. So if we do summon the team at one time, we get 10 job breakers. Uh, send friendship coins, we get five. This five, this five, this five. So in the first day, we're getting 10, 20, 30. So 30. Uh, more job breakers. So what, 45 job breakers, 55 job breakers, 60 job breakers. These missions aren't that uh, difficult. 65, 70. Uh, where was I? 75, 85, um, 90, 95. 100, 110, 120, 130, 135, 145. Get a decent amount. It's a lot of these, yeah. So let's say around 250-ish, around there probably. Um, what do I get for this stuff? So rewarded selection chest A. Content, select one of the following. Normal uh, summon ticket times 10 and black market ticket times 6. And we get that final reward for clearing all missions. Wait, what? Oh, that's it. So we get two of these chests. So we get two of these chests just for doing all the missions. Those two chests will contain basically 12 black market tickets for most of us because we want that. It's the better currency. Uh, or if you want 20 summons, you can go for 20 summons. So we'll get two of those things. That's the first thing. So 20 summons for free automatically. Let's just say 20 summons just to say if you want that one. Um, then it's the exchange shop, which also opens up at the same time. So that's there as well. Uh, acquire rewards by, um, again, you know, getting the currency, then exchanging the shop, uh, which is in the event tab. So first things first. Uh, what do we have? Acquire rewards. This is the same thing I just read, right? Yeah. But this is lollipop now. How to obtain lollipops? Obtain lollipop from loot every 20 minutes. Secret floor. Obtain lollipop upon winning a battle on the secret floor. Obtain 20 lollipops from achievement rewards upon uh, reaching 100 points. Play climb the tower and uh, achieve it through daily rewards. Obtain draw uh, jaw breakers from clearing daily festival missions. So again, this is the other currency. Yeah, yeah lollipop. Acquire, acquired from four different areas. Jawbreakers required from two different areas. Okay. Now, with that, in order to buy something, you need both lollipops and jawbreakers. So there you go. That's what it was. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Makes a lot of sense now. It's not just jawbreakers. This has to be acquired to purchase something. So I need 300 lollipops and 100 jawbreakers. Then I can purchase a suspendium times 7,000. So there's that. Then I need 200 lollipops and 80 jawbreakers to get an SSR selection chest. Okay, I need 50 and 20 to clear this stuff. I need 15 and 30 to get a free SSR character that not of my choice, just a random one. A master key for two and five. Normal summon ticket 20 times. So you get 20 summons, correct? So can, how much of this can we actually clear? We don't know, we'll find out soon. But um, it looks like this is three. So you get three SSR characters potentially. You can get once of this, once of this, correct? Again, this three times. Okay, it's not bad. 20 of this, and then obviously whatever's left, you have to trade for these things. So can we clear out the entire shop? We'll find out soon.
Like, I was counting around, let's say, like, this is 300. That's already 100. That's already 180. This is three more times. So you'll have to probably pick what you want. Now, maybe you could do it. Correct? Because this is only, like, 40. So theoretically, you can definitely get most of the stuff. Daily Festival. Obtain from clearing Daily Festival missions. And then you can also get some through Daily Rewards. This doesn't show how much you can get through Daily Rewards. But you can also get some through Daily Rewards. So... Yeah, I think you can clear the entire shop. They're not going to let you clear only part of it, so... Because you can't buy this currency, so... You're probably going to get three SSR characters, one selection chest, 7,000 suspendium, and 20 summons, which is not that bad. So, very cool stuff there. Unused lollipops will be converted into coins after the event. Pretty simple. Yeah, that's actually sick. That's, that's, that's sick as hell, so... Very big event here. That's actually... These rewards aren't bad, bro. Not bad. Climb the tower uh, mini game. So we have this also. Uh, the mini game is pretty simple. I don't think I need to explain it to you. Um, don't think I need to explain it to you. You probably know this, right? Achievement reward is the selection B chest, B chest, B chest, which gives you black market summon tickets. So you get 18 black market summon tickets if you want it, which is not bad. Also, very good. Um, play once a day for this. Play twice a day for this. Play twice a day. So you have this event for 10 days, right? Or 14 days? 10 days. And you're getting automatically 200 here. So yeah, you're 100% clearing the shop. Because let's say that was 250, 450, you're clearing the shop. Let's say I was 300, 200, 500, you're definitely clearing the shop. So 100%, you are clearing that shop. That's literally impossible not to clear. So yeah, not bad, bro. <laughs> Yo, it's not actually that bad. So theoretically, you're getting like, if you wanted 30 black market tickets. That's the first thing. So 30 black market tickets. That's actually a huge first love freebie. That's 1,500 or 15,000 suspendium right there. You're then getting three SSR soul stones. Yes, it's not guaranteed who it is but it's still good to have right uh sometimes this actually really helps this over here is a selection chest this over here is seven thousand suspendium this over here is 20 summons that's already good then again they also paid us out a little gift early which was 14 summons for some reason i don't know if that was something because of this was it because of this no so we all got this now right because they just announced that we all got the extra multi because somebody actually cleared it but a a randomly we got another 14 summons which we didn't count right so we we are getting so much stuff bro like, in this entire update itself, we got so many free SSR characters and so many free summons. So many, like, what? 30 summons plus 14 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. So, we're at like, 50. Let's just say 50 plus, right? So, we say if you didn't uh, get those other mission ones, right? Because they already been given to us. So, yeah. So many free SSRs. 50 plus summons. What the fudge are they cooking? <laughs> They're cooking. That's what it is. Hey, yo. With that being said, I'll catch you in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe. Peace and enjoy. That's been the video. Uh, very cool stuff. Uh, this is not even like, remember, when we get an anniversary, I really uh, like wonder how they're going to handle this game because they're so generous during like some of these decent small updates and some of these small like events, right? I wonder how they're going to handle the first anniversary. Remember, we're very close. Like, theoretically, we're very close. We had the six month there in Uruk. Then we had a four-week event there. So, yeah, we're, we're kind of close to it. So, curious on how that works and how that operates. But with that being said, I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe, everyone. Peace out. Enjoy. That's been it for me. Take care. And that has been the Tower Gun New World uh, White Day Celebration events. And um, a crap ton of free SSRs, a crap ton of summons, and a crap ton of good rewards. Like, genuinely good rewards. So, now I have more summons to pull a lane. <laughs> I'm saving, dude. I'm literally sitting here like a moron, saving all of my uh, black market tickets for uh, for Kaiser whenever she releases or Elaine whenever she releases, right? So I'll be here. If, if she doesn't release first and Jin Sung releases first, he gets it. It just depends on who releases first, all right? I'm not I'm not loyal to either one of those characters. Whoever releases first, I'm going for because I'm not waiting, bro. <laughs> I am not waiting any longer. I have so many black market tickets, but yeah. Take care, have fun. That's been it for me, and enjoy.